Mayen, the last monarch of the House of Stuart, was born in St. James Castle in London on February 6, 1665. She was the daughter of James, Duke of York, later King James II and VII. Her mother was Lady Anne Hyde. She and her sister Mary were the only children of the Duke and Duchess of York to survive to adulthood. Mary reigned before Anne as a joint monarch alongside her husband, William III and II. Queen Mary II died of smallpox in 1694. King William continued as the sole monarch until his death in 1702. Without children, they are the only joint monarchs in British history. Although Anne and Mary's father converted to Catholicism, both daughters were raised as Protestants. On July 28, 1683, Anne married the Protestant Prince George of Denmark, Norway. Anne was pregnant at least 18 times. She miscarried or gave birth to stillborn children 13 times. Of the remaining five children, four died before reaching the age of two. Her only son to survive infancy was William, the Duke of Gloucester. William died at the age of 11 on July 29, 1700. Anne became Queen of England, Scotland, and Ireland at the age of 37 on March 8, 1702. Her coronation was April 23, 1702, the same year the French built the star-shaped earthenwork fortification known today as Fort Anne. On May 1, 1707, under the Acts of Union 1707, England and Scotland were united as a single sovereign state, the Kingdom of Great Britain. Anne became its first sovereign while continuing to hold the separate crown of Queen of Ireland and the title of Queen of France. She was the last Queen of England and the last Queen of of Scots. Sarah Churchill, the Duchess of Marlborough, Anne's Lady of the Bedchamber, is sometimes referred to as the power behind the throne. They were good friends and called each other Mrs. Morley and Mrs. Freeman. Anne was devastated when her husband died in October 1708. This is the same year the Degan Cosby House was built in Port Royal. She was also preoccupied with her own health, possibly suffering from porphyria, an affliction of the skin and nervous system. She allowed Sarah Churchill to dominate politics. Anne reigned for 12 years until her death in August 1714. Queen Anne died at Kensington Palace in London at only the age of 49, at 7 p.m. on August 1, 1714. On her deathbed, she suffered from suppressed gout, ending in a severe case of erysipelas, an acute streptococcus bacterial infection of the skin. Her body was so swollen and large that it had to be placed in a vast, almost square coffin. She was buried in Westminster Abbey. Queen Anne's reign was succeeded by that of George I. Four years prior to her death, Colonel Francis Nicholson, one of the captors of Port Royal, named Annapolis Royal in her honor. Polis is Greek for city. Annapolis Royal is the royal city of Queen Anne. 2010 marks the 300th anniversary of the naming of Annapolis Royal after Queen Anne. It was also the 300th anniversary of the Sinclair Inn, one of Canada's national historic sites. St. Luke's Anglican Church commemorated 300 years of continuous Anglican parish ministry in Canada. The 400th anniversary of the baptism of Mi'kmaq Chief Member 2 was reenacted at the habitation. The Historical Association placed a monument to designate the St. John the Baptist Parish Cemetery at Fort Anne National Historic Site and opened to the public for one day the Degan Cosby House, built in 1708, the oldest wooden house in Nova Scotia. The spirit of Queen Anne was present throughout the various 300th anniversary events. Our music, The Siege of 1710, is from the Annapolis Royal Suite by world-renowned composer Ron McKay. Special thanks to Ron Mac Music, Karen McKay, Jolene Buckles, and Trish Fry. 
commissioned by the Annapolis Basin Community Band. It was performed by the BandFest 2010 Band Group, comprised of the Annapolis Basin Community Band and other bands from throughout the Maritimes. For more about the area and the Historical Association of Annapolis Royal, founded in 1919, we recommend our book, The History of Annapolis Royal, Port Royal, 1605 to 1800, by noted historian Brenda Dunn. For additional information, please visit our website, www.touranapolisroyal.com.